Hi family, it's me, Miss Sam. Um, my gosh, I just did a reading, a very long reading about Kate Middleton. I had a wig on and I was melted under that wig. I had to take it off. <laughs> okay, so I was thinking of something the other day, about two days ago, in regards to um, the Priscilla movie. And what I did is I went over to... Um, Memphis Mafia's YouTube page, okay? Um, Memphis Mafia, that is Billy, Billy Smith's son, okay? And um, of course, he grew up at Graceland. Of course, Elvis was like an uncle to him, but was his father's cousin. So he is Elvis's cousin. He grew up with Lisa Marie and uh, saw everything more or less that a, could, that a child could see over there at Graceland. So in regards to this movie now that Priscilla brought out the other day, why are we talking about it even? Why is it even a thing? Well, it's a thing firstly, primarily, and I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do the reading on. Lisa Marie Presley, God bless her, and God bless Benjamin as well. Sometimes I forget to mention Benjamin, you know, and then afterwards I remember about him or when I'm watching back the video, I remember about Benjamin. And it's very important that when I speak about Lisa, I speak about Benjamin as well, because there's a lot of energy there that is unresolved, okay? Now, this movie, was frowned upon by Lisa. She did not like the idea of this movie. I believe a script had been put together. Priscilla allowed Lisa, or Lisa somehow got hold of the script, whatever, and Lisa said a very firm and clear, hell no, okay, to this movie. Now, when I went over to the Memphis Mafia channel, um, Memphis Mafia Kid channel, uh, I was reading through the comments and of course listening to um, the commentary and it seems as if this movie was very low budget that's number one and then there, of course it was peppered with lots of lies so for example um, there was the impression that the big hair and the black liner and all that kind of thing you know the big beehive hair lashings and lashings of black liner that apparently this was Elvis's idea this was his thing this was what he told Priscilla to do and you know he was the one influencing her clothing and her dress and her style and that whole thing right well um, apparently somebody in the comment section said that uh, the her, Priscilla's makeup artist at the time has been speaking out and saying that it was all Priscilla's idea to have so much black eyeliner, more, 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 and tease my hair this way, because um, she wanted to appear older, okay? Now, when I was looking at some photos, you know, I follow a few pages on Facebook, you know, Elvis and Priscilla pages, etc., and she did look a lot older than her years. She looked like a woman in, the, in her mid-twenties, she didn't look like a teenage girl. And so I think the dressing, the styles of dress, the, uh, the very adult purses and heels and the style of hair and the application of the makeup was indeed to make her look older, okay? And this is something that she started doing, I suppose, at Germany, in Germany. Now, what else was said? Okay, now here's another thing about the movie that um, people were saying in the comment section. They said that the movie made Priscilla look like some kind of little bird in a cage, okay? And that Elvis kind of kept her there, imprisoned in this gilded cage, you know, the, you know the thing. This is what she was trying to do, but actually this lady, this young girl, had a lot of freedom. And apparently she used to go out quite a bit with um, go on shopping trips and so on and she was very close to the other women in the house in particular Billy Smith's wife 
and they used to take her off. they went on excursions and things like that shopping trips and whatever even when they were in California they still maintained that kind of relationship where they would do a lot of activities and stuff together Priscilla made out that she was very lonely in the house and isolated it was a bunch of adults doing wild and crazy things and she was just a little frightened child type of thing inside of the house again that would be a lie so I've got some cards here and I'm going to ask Lisa Marie specifically about this movie now one of the more important things that I want to point to here is something about spiritual authority okay now when somebody says to us or, or when we want to uh, when somebody wants to marry us okay or um, we want permission for something we go and seek somebody's blessing yeah we go and ask for a blessing well this movie project was not blessed by Lisa Marie's spirit when she was alive and, and maybe she feels differently about it I don't know until I pull these cards but that project wasn't blessed from the beginning now question mark that's what I was thinking about it's kind of hard to put how to put it into words did Priscilla get somebody's blessing to go ahead with this movie or was it just simply a callous thought okay Lisa's dead Lisa Marie is not here anymore to argue with me I can do what I want now don't have to think about her feelings anymore you know no regard for the spirit at all no regard for the dead let me go ahead and ring Sophia tell her to push this movie out okay we had it on the back burner right was it that or did Priscilla get permission did she get somebody's blessing to put this movie out now you're gonna to say to yourself well Miss Sam who could give their blessing who is Lisa Marie who is Lisa Marie's representative here on earth who is her representative who is the one that has allowed Priscilla to get her way? See, I don't want to keep making these videos and then every other or every third video is coming back to me kind of ragging on Riley. That's not my intention. But in terms of blessings, who did Priscilla get the blessing from to put this movie out, to, to go ahead with it, making it and its release and all the rest of it? Did she, did she get somebody's blessing to do that? Did she seek someone's blessing to do that? Or did Priscilla just go ahead and say, fuck it, I can do what I want. I'm going to tell my story. Before I ask who gave whose blessing and if any blessing was given, you see, because the thing about it is it appears as if there was no blessing on the movie in terms of the the low view, uh, the, you know, kind of, it, it flopped. The movie flopped, okay? And it was low budget. So therefore there wasn't enough investment in the movie in the first place. Or Sophia had the, Sophia Coppola said okay I'm doing this for a friend I don't really want to do it was it like a half-hearted effort in it or if I'm gonna do it let me make it from my agenda that type of thing you know because it seems as if Sophia's agenda was about what happens to was about child grooming people making comparisons with R. Kelly and all this kind of stuff very very distasteful angle to the movie okay so it seems as if the it seems as if the spiritual authority was not given to make this movie hence it's flopping <laughs> hence it flopped does that make sense to your family? I'm so hot, I just took the wig off. <laughs> Lord. Let me pull some cards, okay? 
First of all, I want to light some incense. It's very, very important. Very important. And I really wanted to do this reading. And I've been thinking about it for a couple of days, but been really, really busy. And then, of course, the Kate Middleton stuff, Princess of Wales, Catherine, Princess of Wales stuff. And me wanting to cover other subjects as well, like for example, Riyadh in India, and then um, this gentleman, a councilman in Flint, councilman, I can't remember his name, but from Flint, Michigan, he passed away, I think, in the past 24 hours. So there's a lot of things. I even did a video on Memphis, but it was to do with the mayor of Memphis and this, you know, meeting that he had about crime, whatever. He wanted to meet gangsters and so on. Anywho, talking of gangsters. <laughs> Let's pull some cards. Ready? Here we go. Ten minutes in. Y'all can timestamp this if you want, if it's necessary. All right? Here we go. ask this question first. Did, thank you all of the Mary, Ashe, did Priscilla seek permission or, <clears throat> or anyone's spiritual blessing <coughs> to put out this movie? Ten of water here in reverse. This is ten of cups in reverse. No, she didn't. There's some energy on here. Can you see these three ladies? This is Lisa, Riley and Priscilla in the reverse. Why, why did Riley come out and, and like really, why did Riley come out and say everything has never not been okay with me and Granny or with the family? It's a lie. This is Ten of Water in reverse. It's Ten of Cups in reverse. Ain't nothing about this card okay. This one card is telling me that neither Lisa's spirit nor Riley nor Lisa when she was alive felt that this was okay. And you know something that's really annoying me with this, and I'll just say this, and I'll, just five more minutes, family, because I can feel myself getting irritated. But what irritates me about this 10 of water, 10 of cups card in reverse, is that Priscilla herself knew that this wasn't okay. What the hell? Priscilla herself knew this was not okay. Hold on a second. Wait, I'll just go pause this. Okay, family. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so, on that card, Priscilla herself felt, felt, feels, <coughs> at the time of starting this movie, felt that it was not okay. So, if all three women were in agreement, why the hell did they make this movie? Why was the movie made? Why was the movie made if all three women didn't like the idea of the movie? Did somebody force Priscilla to put this movie out? Has it got something to do with Brigitte? And the rest of them, the former business partners, the cronies. Priscilla having debts and needing to release this thing. Because as Bridget said, she already, or Bridget, she already made the paraphernalia and the products and stuff like that. She already invested in it, had them made, etc., whatever. Lined up all this merchandise in respect of the movie. It seemed as if Priscilla did not want to release it. She didn't even want to make it. Mm. 
We ask the cards. Ten of Cups here in reverse. So, thank you, Oladamari. So, if that's the case, why was this movie made? The wheel in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse. This is like a gamble, gamble energy in reverse. So Priscilla didn't have faith in the movie. She knew the movie was gonna flop. And a gamble is when you put money out and expect money to come back in. You expect to yield some kind of benefit or whatever, dividends, make some money off of it. But she knew she wasn't gonna make any money out of it. Why? Why did Priscilla feel that this movie was going to flop? Why did she not like the idea of the movie? And also, did she have a different was her energy different when Lisa was alive and she brought the idea to Lisa as opposed to when Lisa died and she said, let's go ahead with the movie? Or did Priscilla's energy change after she fell out with Brigitte and them? What? What happened? The chariot in reverse. She didn't want to start it. And she didn't want to go ahead. Sorry, the incense making me cough. It's the chariot in reverse. She did not want to go ahead with it. The chariot, somebody driving the chariot, so somebody who's in charge of this movie and the making of this movie, or in, so again, maybe this come down to what's happening between her and Bridget. I'm going to be so irritating. Is it Bridget or Bridget? I don't know. But whoever's driving this chariot ain't Priscilla. And this is why she didn't feel that she had much control. Now, is it because of Sophia? Sophia Coppola, who is the cousin or the auntie of Nicolas Cage, who was married to Lisa Marie for very, very brief, <coughs> for a very, very brief period of time? Or is it because Priscilla is a control freak? and she has to be in charge of every single thing? Or is it because of her relationship with Bridget? It's, it's, it's gotta be one of those three. Priscilla not allowing people to do their job, not having enough control, whatever it is, whoever was driving this uh, movie, and let's see if it's to do with finances. So if the movie did, you know, it's like a bad-minded energy. In Jamaica, we say bad mind, right? Bad mind. What that means is this. You could have a business partner and the business partner doesn't want the business to go well. Why? Because he or she is majority shareholder in the business and is going to get more money out of it. You understand? So it's this thing now, maybe because of debts accrued and whatever, and uh, I don't know. But it seems as if whoever was going to make money from this movie, it was going to go to somebody else, it wasn't going to go to Priscilla. And so because of that, this is why she didn't, she didn't want to put it out. She really did not want to put it out. Because the cards are there, this is what it's saying. She wasn't super enthusiastic about it. She was kind of like, oh God, you know, whatever because she's not in control. So she's not putting in her full effort. Petulant and bad-minded. Oh, I wanted to tell my story. You mean, you were hoping it would tell your story, but it told Sophia's version of your story. And then when it come down to the money, Bridget was waiting there with her hand out, saying, I've invested in this. <laughs> What's the timeline of when she fell out with Bridget? So Riley did not give her blessing for this. So we cannot rag on Riley for this one. Oh God. 
she did she did the right thing there by not giving her consent and it was a situation where she did not give her consent so possibly priscilla asked her or tried to butter her up in some way or priscilla just simply told her look i'm going to release this movie you know this movie i was talking about with your mum, whatever but your mum didn't like it anyway i'm going to release it and riley made her feelings clear And Priscilla went ahead anyway, but the energy changed. And when Priscilla realized that she wasn't going to get the lion's share of any profits that this thing made, she, she basically put her mouth on it and made the movie flop. And it was low budget. That means she didn't go out there and fan her tail and go and try and get more investment for this thing. With all the connections, the Hollywood connections that Priscilla has, family, with all of the Hollywood connections and, and people that she knows, she couldn't get together more money to make a more higher budget. If, if Over there on Billy Smith channel, they said it was low budget. <laughs> Poor quality. They said there were some scenes where Graceland was in the back, <clears throat> in the background and they were in a car driving down the driveway and it looks so kind of amateurish for crying out loud. And of course, peppered with lies. Because whether she took, whether this was something that, but whatever, but the thing is, Sophia made the script look a certain way. She made Priscilla look a certain way and their relationship look a certain way. And she made Uncle Elvis look a certain way. But, but what was it like when Lisa saw it? Must have been even worse. What was the draft that Lisa saw? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And of course, no mention of the twins in their opinion about anything because they're just kids and they don't matter. Remember, Navarone said they're just kids. I don't know what it's going to be like when they get older. Well, they, at the moment, they're just kids. But let me tell you about Riley. Riley, did she come from a whole different family? I don't know. She's like an angel from above. Old pothead Navarone. Anywho, this is a quick reading. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some more Presley readings, but uh, uh, yes, I'll be doing them soon. Okay, that's what I can say to you. Okay, really, really busy at the moment, but of course, I can never, ever, ever, ever forget about Miss Lisa Marie Presley, and yeah. So let me just show you the three cards again. Like I saw a picture of her greasy stepfather, Mr. Sergeant Buley. That man looked like he was, he was standing with Priscilla and Elvis. I saw a photo on Facebook among the um, pages that I follow. And he was standing there looking so greasy like he was cutting a big deal. They used Priscilla and Pris Priscilla a lot. It's like Priscilla knowingly and willingly. You know, even the way she was standing with Elvis. And I'm thinking to myself, how old was she, 15 or 16 in that picture? And the way she's standing with Elvis and her stepfather is next to her, that's not the way that a child, you know what I mean? It's like she didn't regard the man as her father. She never really respected him as her father. She was going to do what she wants to do. This me and my man. I never seen the likes of it, you know, where a child can do that. Cozy up to their boyfriend in a picture with, with dad standing next to them like that. And he obviously never regarded her as his daughter. Yeah, he's her guardian because he married the mother. But he never really looked at Priscilla as his daughter. He just look at her like she could have just been a girl who he just, she could have just been an escort. Real talk. And Elvis a customer, a, a good paying customer, a long time customer. You know what I mean, I hate to put it in those terms, but this is what, you know, the greasy look on the man's face with your big belly and everything, punch and, 
He wasn't a thin man, he was a strapping man, so he looked like he enjoyed steak and potatoes. And there was Priscilla, like all this up on Uncle Elvis, like, all of this. I was like, what am I seeing in this picture? If I see the picture again, I'll screenshot it and show it to you, right? In fact, no. Next time, the next video I'll do, remind me, somebody remind me to show y'all that picture. It's a black and white picture, a certain one of the Facebook groups. Some of y'all will probably know about it already. Sergeant Buley, I think he's got a cigar in his mouth. Either that or something in his hand. He's got no, he's got a, like a, um, like a, not a shirt on, like a short sleeve shirt and like casual pants. And Elvis was in a suit next to Priscilla and Priscilla was kind of up on him like that and she had her purse. I think, and they were standing outside the house. They were standing outside Vernon's house. This is when they were doing the drop off. But he never really looked at Priscilla as if she was his daughter because if, she, if he really felt like Priscilla was his daughter, no way would he have brought her there, no way. And obviously it was about this for him. Let me show you the cards again and I'll screenshot it next time and I'll show it to you okay so here we have the chariot here in reverse we have the wheel of fortune in reverse and we have ten of water ten of cups here in reverse Lisa Riley Lisa Marie Riley and Priscilla. Riley lied. Oh, things have never not been okay. The rainbow's in reverse. I mean that there's a lot of unfinished business in that family and spiritually as well. And this is all to do with Priscilla and her associates who've been trampling all over, putting Uncle Elvis's money in their blouse and in their pockets, <laughs> living the life of Riley. My name is Miss Sam <laughs> and I'll come back soon when I'm not so sweaty, okay? Ah, uh, shame. Bless and remind me to show you all that photo, okay? I'll go find it in a wee while. Bless. Chukudala, inshallah, later, okay? And again, rest in peace to Lisa Marie Presley. We love you, girl. I took candles because I was going to. Took out three candles, but my intention wasn't. I was thinking to myself, why the hell you go ahead with this movie lady? Silly lady, a silly lady. Why the hell you go ahead with it? You knew it wasn't right. Well, looked like she had to because Brigitte wanted her money. <laughs> See Lisa's energy. to Benjamin too. Ashe, Chukudalu. Amen. We'll continue on Lisa, we'll continue on. There's no problem. No problem at all. Love you girl. Love you. We love you. Ashe, family bless.